So something's been going on with my Multi Plus 2. I have this uh, 12 volt, 3000 watt, uh, 120 amp, uh, 50 amp transfer switch, and 120 volt in the United States. Um, it's a Multi Plus 2. I've been getting some weird readings on my Serbo GX and the touch. So I disconnected all of that, right? So right now the Multi Plus 2 is only connected to my laptop and then via the um, USB adapter there. Uh, it's not connected to my servo at all, okay? Um, I have shore power coming into it and I have it inverting out line one, right? So it's using AC in and AC out. Um, but the weird readings I've been seeing is I'm not getting any kind of measured input in with regards to current on AC input one. That's really bizarre, right? So this is what I was seeing on the Serbo and I thought maybe it had something to do with the Serbo GX and I'm also running the GUI mods on the Ser Serbo. So I thought maybe something was up there. And as I look at this, so right now it's on, there's very little load on the inverter. Right, there's very little load. And basically the AC output that you're seeing here, about eight amps, is the DC charger, right? So the DC charger is running. And I did dial back the charger from 120 amps down to 60 amps. So that's what you're seeing here under the DC. You can see it's providing a charge. So for my AC input and output, my AC input doesn't show any current at all. But then my AC output is showing the eight amps of power it's taken to run the charger, right? Now I can fact check this data by going over to my servo. And on my servo, I have a, an energy meter on my, on my uh, shore power, okay? So totally separate, disconnected from the inverter right now, just a totally separate shore power um, meter. And here you can say I only have 120 volts going to it right now with one line. Um, but here you can see AC phase line one. You can see I'm pulling eight and a half amps, right? So I'm definitely, from a shore perspective, I'm definitely pulling uh, amperage from my shore circuit. And it's being used by the inverter for DC charging, right? Oh, my laptop went to sleep. Hang on. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, but why isn't the AC input one, like the input showing any load that's the problem that i have and i've been having this problem and the problem has to do with the current limit basically my inverter's not honoring current limit and it kind of makes sense when it's not even monitoring <laughs> you know the amperage on the on the line one so that's kind of the problem i'm having And here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put some additional load and i'll just show you here real quick i'm going to put load on the inverter i have my ac all hooked up off the inverter so let me just do that. And what'll happen is I'm gonna drive a bunch of load on the on the inverter. You just heard it turn on. We'll come over here to my, I'll show you this, the uh, shore power. So right now it's at 9.4, there it goes. It's ramping up, ramping up as the AC and the compressor comes on. And so the power amperage that I have right now is the charger at 60 amps and the air conditioner running at, uh, you know, whatever it's pulling. So the total AC amperage is 22 amps, right? So pulling a pretty good load on my shore power. But when I come over here to the inverter, look at these numbers. AC input line one, zero amps. And then AC output line one, it only shows the amps that are related to the charger. It doesn't even show the load that the, um, the rest of the circuits on the inverter are are put, you know, are putting onto the, to the inverter. So I have something going on here with my config or with the inverter. It is a newer unit. I'm just now getting it kind of set up and up and running. Um, so if you got any thoughts, let me know. I'd appreciate it.